Hey, what's going on, Internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this After Effects tutorial, we're going to create the audio react from proximity. So let's go ahead and just get started. So here we are in a new composition. I just have my logo in here, but we're just going to be focusing on the audio reaction of the ring. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Layer, New, Solid. And we just call this one React Circle 1 and click OK. And then we're going to go up here to the top and we're going to select the ellipse tool. And we're going to come here right to the middle and we're going to draw out a perfect rounded circle. So on a Mac, hold down Command and Shift. On a PC, hold down Control and Shift for a perfect circle like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to Window Align. And of course, make sure that the mask is selected and let's make sure this is all 100% you know, centered up. And that's right in the center of our composition. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Effect uh, Generate Audio Spectrum. And now we have this line in here. What I suggest doing is you know turn off the mask, which is right here, so we can kind of see what we're doing. And we're going to set the path to the mask one. So now we kind of have this nice circle in here. And once at the audio layer, actually, let's go to Project and let's add in our music. And then let's go back to our effects controls, select the React circle, and we'll set the audio layer to uh, our music. And right now, you know, don't really have much going on. We just have a little bit of you know audio reaction going there. And if we select our audio track and we hit LL on our keyboard, we'll see the audio waveform, so we can kind of see how everything's kind of reacting. But let's go back to our circle here and start tweaking some of these settings. I want to set the start frequency down to one, and bring the end frequency down to like 300. And then I'm going to increase the you know frequency bands to maybe about like a thousand. And then I'm going to go to the maximum height, maybe increase that by almost to around 800, almost. You know, then let's increase the audio duration just by a touch, like maybe 160. And then we can change the color of this down to you know, maybe white for the inside color and outside color. Bring the softness down to zero percent. And then let's set the display options down to analog lines and the side options to side B. So now we kind of have this line going on in here and it's, you know, slightly reacting. But we do have some, uh, you know, cuts in the mask over here. So open up mask one, go into the mask expansion and, you know, just increase that by a lot. So this way we'll have the entire, you know, circle in here. And, you know, it's looking pretty interesting. But then let's go to uh, the transform properties. Let's add a keyframe for rotation. Let's go to the end of our composition, which in your case might be three minutes, but just in my case for the tutorial, I'm doing 10 seconds and just really increase the rotation. So I'll probably just do two, but you might want to put like 50 or something like that. So 2x, but if your song is like three minutes, you might want to do 50x or 100x, depending on how fast you want this thing to rotate. But that'll kind of keep it, uh, you know, they'll kind of mix up where the uh, bands are reacting. And for the most part, we just created our first line. So all we have to do now is close this up, duplicate this layer. Uh, we'll change the color of this to maybe uh, red. And we can maybe just select that color. And all we'll do from here is maybe tweak the audio duration just by a little bit. And then, you know, maybe increase the maximum height. You know, maybe we'll increase the maximum height just by a little bit more. So we have some more separation there. And then let's we'll duplicate it once again. We and now maybe we can change the color to the yellow over here for both the inside color and outside color. And maybe we can just adjust the audio duration just by a little bit. And then let's increase the maximum height. Actually, let's decrease the maximum height down to maybe like 600. And now we're starting to get that separation. And then once again, let's duplicate it once more. And now this time we'll select a nice light blue. And we'll copy that there. And this time we'll just you know bring down the maximum height a little bit more. And you know just tweak the audio duration uh, you know parameter there and for the most part we should be good to go we can come here and just like tweak the song over a little bit and as you see the audio you know reaction can get a little bit you know crazy and it can go outside of frame so if this happens to you what I suggest doing is go up to layer new null object and just parent everything in here except for the song and parent it to the null object and we just hit S on our keyboard to bring up scale and we just scale this down by a little bit and this way, you know, we can control how far this can go outside of the frame. Of course, you can just adjust the maximum height to bring these down if it's too far. So that's how you can create the audio reaction that you see on the Proximity uh, Music YouTube channel. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more After Effects tutorials just like this. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.